This is Per Slice, which is advertised as the ultimate dessert slicer, but does it really work? Let's check it out in today's review. Hey guys, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews, bringing you as seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so for more videos like this. Now, today I've got the Per Slicer, which is advertised on the box as the ultimate dessert slicer. This was suggested to me by someone online, so I figured I would check it out and see how it really works. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, looking at the instructions here, I've got a little bit of assembly to do, it seems. Doesn't look too hard, though. Well, that was pretty easy, huh? Apparently this is our spatula. Now it says to wash it before the first use, which is probably a good idea. Let me go do that and come right back. All right, we're back now. now there's two things to really consider on this when you're cutting the cake, is you have to pick the size of the cake, really, eight, nine, or 10 inches. Apparently you can't do much more than that. You're also gonna pick the number of slices you want from th as high as 30, to as low as 14. That's all there is to it, so let's get started with an eight inch cake. So on the side of the blades on each side, you can see eight, nine, and 10. So I have an eight inch cake, that's where it's gonna go. And you're supposed to find the center, which is easy, because this cherry already has the center picked out for us. Should be simple. Let's see how it really works. My eights line up with the edge, I'm in the center, and here we go. Okay, now I pull the lever, pull this lever back, and the spatula comes out. That's a pretty clean cut. Once again, you pull the spatula back out. Voila! Hey, I'm gonna say, you know, number, slice number one looks pretty good. Let's keep slicing. Uh, now are these equal slices? They look pretty equal-ish. I'm gonna keep going and see how it looks after I've done all of them. I'm not sure the spatula does much because it barely goes underneath there. I guess just enough to hold it on until you can drop it off somewhere else. I'll be curious after 14 if it's still a uniform cut. I definitely don't feel like as I get towards the end of the cake that they're all the same as when they started. These pieces are getting smaller. They are getting smaller. I'm just gonna start sliding them over to make room. <laughs> I don't know about this. This last piece is gonna be puny. All right. Wow, well let's take a look at what we got here. I started putting some on this plate, but I started running out of room, so let's see what we got. Keep in mind the advertising says a perfect slice every time, so you're supposed to be foolproof. I'm gonna try to reassemble this cake as it was and see what, where I went wrong, or when, where the per slice went wrong. I'm not taking the blame for it. I'm not taking the blame for it. You're supposed to be perfect slice every time. Okay, as you can see, it kind of has almost a, a spiral type effect where you get larger pieces where I started, I started right here and went around, and look at the size of the small piece that I ended with compared to the larger one. Not terrible, but perfect slice every time? I don't think so. And we also lost a little bit on each piece in the middle. That's why there's an opening there. All right, so that is just my first test of the per slice. I would say, yeah, yeah B minus, C plus. It was, a, I would still say it's better than using a knife. I don't think I would have done that well with just a knife. I know some people who probably would, I wouldn't. But on the other hand, it starts off large and got smaller and smaller because it wasn't a perfect circle. So I don't know. 
Here's the first piece I cut, and here's the last piece. You can see uh, there's certainly a big dif difference. Great, I just dropped it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this in the dishwasher, wash it off, see how it holds up there, and then tomorrow try a completely different cake and see how that works. Now that all the nastiness is off, let's put it in the dishwasher and see if it doesn't get fried in there. See tomorrow, per slice. Looking at it one more time from the biggest to smallest, it really isn't that bad. I mean, it's a slight difference. Of course, I ate that one, but it's a slight difference, but really, it would, I think it would be hard to do that with a knife. All right, the purse slicer is out of the dishwasher. Let's take a look at it a little bit more closely. It came out pretty nice, no warping, no other problems, so I'd definitely say it is dishwasher safe. Now, a couple things for my next test. Uh, I paid about 30 bucks for this on Amazon. If you order directly from the website, it's about 20, I, but I wanted quicker shipping from Prime, so I just started, paid 30 for it. I'll put a link in the description below for where you can order the purse slicer. So someone on Facebook saw the picture of my first cake and said how small the slices were. Well, that was the largest slice setting. Today, I'm gonna do the smallest slice setting, which is 30, and see how small those are. A little bit different type of cake as well to kind of mix it up. So let's try it right now. All right, I've got this beautiful coconut topped cake here, and I'm gonna set it to 30 slices. So we have 14, 16, 20, 24, and 30. Right now, I'm going with 30 on this eight inch cake. Wow, that is a small slice. Then use a spatula, look how small that is. Um, I know I can open this up. There it goes. That is a small piece, that's a sliver. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Can I get 30 out of this? And how am I gonna keep this even? I don't know, man. All right, back to 30. It just kind of smashes it downward too. That's two. I don't know about this 30, guys. I'm gonna try a few more pieces, then I'm gonna try a knife. Because right now I'm having to take it all the way down. I'm gonna have to open it up to get the piece out of there. And I don't even need the spatula because it just sticks. Yeah, I don't. Are you really gonna divide an eight inch cake into 30 pieces and get this half inch thick piece I don't think so. What do you guys think about that? Is that kind of skinny to you? That seems kind of skinny to me. What if I were to get this bad boy out and just do a little slice there? Almost the same width. Uh, <laughs> that was faster. Guys, I'm not really seeing a big advantage over this knife. That's it, I'm stopping the test of the 30 slices. Because as you saw, just a regular knife, it was faster, no better. I mean, it's cool and all, but it was, the pieces were sticking in there. I didn't even need the spatula because I had to open it up to get each one out. I just, I don't think the 30 slices is gonna work for this one. Let me try some different size slices, see if they look, work a little better. I'm gonna do one of each. Here's a 14. Now let's try an eight, a 16. Not much difference. All right, let's try a 20. Let's try a 24. Let me try wiping this off a little bit. 24. So let's recap here. It took me considerably less time to cut it with a regular knife and get the same size slices. These are the 30 slices. 14, 16, 20, 24, and the 30s are too small to even leave in there. Now watch this. What a piece of cake? Cut. It might depend on your cake, but in this case, a knife beats the purse slice. The new way of cutting cake. This is the new way of doing it, okay? The new way. All right. Now, for the old-fashioned way. Which one's better? 
All right, so in the end, I had 14, 16, 20, 24, and this is with a knife. I don't really see much difference between the other two, and this was faster. It didn't get stuck, and didn't require a separate device. In this case, the regular knife beat the purse slice in speed, maybe even in accuracy and in convenience, because you've got some of these around your house, and this one you don't. You don't need to buy something separate to use a knife on a cake. Someone on Facebook suggested doing a pie. Let's try that. All right, one more quick test here. Someone asked if I could use this on a pie. I'm kind of skeptical, but I want to give it a shot. Let's try it out. Now with the tin, I think it's going to be hard because you're supposed to go straight down with a slicer. But let's try it anyway, see if I can get anything going. I don't know about this. Let's see what happens. All right, what's well, cutting into the pie? Can I slide it? I guess I can do it like that. Oh, I use my spatula. It does it doesn't work. It doesn't reach. Perfect. Hmm. All right, let me try taking it out of the tin if I can even do that. I don't think most people would do this, but let's do it anyways. All right, now we got the pie out of the tin. Will it work then? I'm going to say that's a big no for the pie. Maybe other pies, but this apple pie is not too good. It just doesn't have enough. It's just not solid enough to lift out of there. I don't know. I think that's a no for the pie. So I'm kind of torn with the purse slice because it kind of worked as advertised. But to me, it seems like it's solving a problem that doesn't exist for most people. If you need to get a lot of slices that are even, this might be a pretty good solution, but it's kind of limited in the fact that it can only do eight, nine, 10 inch cakes. It can't do a square one. Obviously pies didn't work as well. Storage wise, it's also kind of large. So to me, I don't think this is something I'm going to be using very often. I can see some people in some situations might need it, but I think most people in most situations won't. Have you used the purse slice or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go, and my Patreon page. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, Freaking Reviews.